Welcome to Teaching Kitchen Series at Home, presented by Morrison Healthcare and me, Chef Val. Welcome to fall, and the very first thing we think about when it's fall is pumpkin. So I am going to be making my ginger pumpkin soup. For pumpkin ginger soup, here are the ingredients. So I have this beautiful pumpkin. Look how gorgeous this looks. So I've got pumpkin, and to good, give the really nice flavor, I'm going to be using some coriander seeds. Coriander seeds are going to give a really nice, beautiful citrus flavor to it. Then I'm going to be using some fennel seeds and fennel seeds are going to add really nice, beautiful licorice flavor. And then some onion, saute some onion and some smoked paprika to give it like a smokiness or just a little bit of heat. And then some, again, traditional nutmeg and cinnamon. And then we will add some Ginger, of course. I absolutely love ginger. I love ginger so much. Actually, I am growing ginger right in my house. This is a ginger tree. So I'm going to be adding for creaminess, coconut. So this is a coconut milk that's gonna go in. And for the liquid for the soup, I am going to be using vegetable broth. If you don't have vegetable broth, you can just use water. That's totally fine. Again, because all the flavors are going to be coming right from the spices. So let's get started. So the very first thing, I have this pumpkin. Just gonna take, I'm going to take all these uh, seeds right out of it, but I'm just gonna cut, give another cut right in the middle. You need strong muscles to cut this pumpkin. I think this is all I need actually. This is about like I would say two pounds using like an edge of like a, if you have a spoon like a, or a spatula or something like really strong, you can just like scrape it. And all these seeds I'm going to be using, I'm gonna to toast these seeds later on. So love, love, love pumpkin seeds. Has a really nice nuttiness and a great flavor as well. So now we are going to be the very first thing again is to roast the pumpkin. So we've already scraped up and I don't have to peel it because peeling is the hardest thing when it comes to pumpkins. The skin is so hard, so we don't have to peel it. So what I'm gonna do is just make big chunks. I'm gonna bake it and it's gonna roast it very nicely. The amazing flavor is gonna come out. The, the caramel sweetness is gonna come out and then skin will just peel right off because it's already baked. Just a regular baking uh, pan. All right. So let's bake this for half an hour at 350. So it's gonna go straight like this in the oven. I'm not gonna put anything on it because all the flavors are going to be uh, cooked in a pan after that. just really nicely baked and look how beautiful this looks. So I'm gonna let this cool and while it's cooling, um, we're going to be starting the, uh, our mixture, the onion and ginger mixture. So we'll start with some oil, just a couple of tablespoons of oil. You can use grapeseed oil, you can use the almond oil, you can use coconut oil, but this is a regular uh, vegetable oil. I love ginger, all these amazing flavors are right in the skin, so I don't even peel my ginger. So about like two tablespoons. I love ginger, so I think this is a little bit more than two tablespoons, but that's okay, because I love ginger. And some onions, I'm just sauteing it uh, for about three to five minutes until the onions become golden brown. So the onions and, uh, and ginger is cooking, caramelizing very nicely. It's about like three minutes now, so I'm just gonna Cut up, stir just maybe another minute or so. Let's talk about the spices. Let's talk about the flavor that's going to make this soup so amazing. So my favorite thing in the kitchen to go is fennel seeds. Fennel seeds have this beautiful licorice flavor and I'm gonna have some. So what I'm going to use instead of the fennel seeds and the coriander, coriander seeds gonna give it a really nice citrus flavor. So instead of like using the seed, I'm going to be using powder form. So they both are together. So then you don't have a bite to it. You really want to have like a smooth, creamy, creamy uh, soup. So you don't want to have um, a uh, bite of any seeds. So maybe I would say a teaspoon and some traditionally with a little bit, little bit nutmeg, just a pinch of nutmeg and just a pinch of cinnamon and some smoked paprika to give a really nice, beautiful smokiness and really, again, just a little bit of heat and some salt. And right now, this, this uh, mixture of this traditional spices mixed with Indian spices are just the perfect marriage of the spices. They're such beautiful 
aroma right now in my kitchen. If you were in my kitchen, you would be dancing because everything tastes, everything like smells is so, so amazing right now in my kitchen. So this is the roasted pumpkin. Again, remember I was saying you don't have to peel the skin. So this is because it's been roasting. Look at this, because it's been roasting, it just comes right off. Look at that. This comes right off, right in there. So this is so easy because it's roasted so nicely. Uh, so it just comes out uh, very nicely. Like I was even thinking at one point, I might have to put this in a food processor, but I really don't have to. Um, it's separating very nicely. Now this is a really good time to add our vegetable broth. So I'm just gonna let it cook for another five minutes and have all the broths and the flavors um, that goes right into the liquid. So this is a perfect time to add my uh, coconut milk to give a really beautiful creamy flavor to it. Pumpkin soup cook for another couple of minutes. So while that's happening, so let's toast some pumpkin seeds. I think it'd be really nice to have um, um, some like a nice texture. Just a couple of tablespoons. So while this is toasting in a very low heat in my pan, I made earlier a cute um, bowl. This is what I'm going to be serving my pumpkin soup in. How cute is this? So I'm going to show you how to make this uh, in your own kitchen. So I just have like a cute, like a baby pumpkin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top lid off. So I'm just gonna cut right from here. Just like this off. And with like a spoon, like a small spoon, I'm just gonna start scraping until all the seeds are out. The cutest bowl ever. And it's so easy to do. How gorgeous and cute this is. And our pumpkin seeds are toasting very nicely. And now it's time to serve the soup. So I'm keeping my soup a little bit thicker because this is how my son likes it. But if you want it like a little bit more liquid to it, a little bit more runny, you can add uh, more broth or maybe a little bit more uh, coconut milk to it. Seeds are looking really nice and toasty. Beautiful color. Just gonna add them on top. And before you serve, you close it so it stays nice and warm and you can just have it on the table. And now again, as I said, I love tasting. This is my favorite time. Mm. This is so good. This is like a comfort in my mouth. The nuttiness from the coconut and the nuttiness from the pumpkin seeds, it combines really beautifully. What I also am loving is a licorice flavor from the fennel combines very nicely with the pumpkin. This is absolutely amazing. So quick and easy to make. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen.